Hello, I'm talking for a few minutes about the fact that um, Mars from Virgo is opposing Neptune in Pisces and reaching a full on op opposition by the 6th, 7th of October. And this can be very destabilizing or um, disorienting in different ways for different people, depending on what is going on in their lives. Virgo and Pisces, that axis always talks about service. It always talks about the contribution we need to make or is expected of us to the world in general or to other people who make up our world. So in September, Jupiter opposed Neptune from in the middle of September from Virgo. Um, highlighting or magnifying this these issues you know there'll be one or maybe two issues in 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 certain people's lives and other people will will barely feel this depending on whether their own chart has planets which aspect this opposition but the full moon at weekend weekend just gone 26 27th of september will also magnify the issue and these issues are having said the, they're to do with service and contribution or demands made by life or by other people they're usually always um humane issues to do with uh, um, questions of, of humanity or um sometimes sacrifice the sacrifice we need to make in 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 matters which are more humane or more altruistic or just more um, emotional perhaps than in other certain issues we encounter. More emotional because Virgo Neptune is extremely empathetic and extremely sympathetic and therefore our emotions are always engaged when these two vibrations happen. So the full moon, which is was something of a super moon, will have highlighted what Jupiter begun to um, present from the middle of September. And it's impossible for people to deny certain uh, matters going on or certain circumstances going on in their lives. And really we wait for Saturn to get a grip in Sagittarius and to make um, what we call a square aspect to the Mars and the way the Mars, the Mars effect is acting in in lives in, in various charts before we see a steadying influence. Otherwise, there can be um, an unreliability, um, great wobbles, great holes opening in the road they will close up again, but they are they are, they are um, meant to draw attention to factors and circumstances that aren't being looked at or addressed and can mean um, a sabotage further along the line or, or an undermining process which may go unnoticed. Now it won't go unnoticed, hopefully, because it's been called to our attention or it's been called to it's been called into the foreground rather than pushed into the background. It's impossible to push it to the side, whatever it may be from now on. It's it isn't absolutely impossible. You it can be done, but it has presented itself in such a way that it can't be denied. The recognition of it cannot be denied. And this is what these aspects to, to Neptune are about, particularly by the more young planets like Mars. And again, it will depend on your individual chart as to where these issues or these problems or, or these issues and problems around people in your life, which then have a knock on effect to you. That's sometimes the way it works. So we are www.perceptivity.co.uk and if you wish to contact us then please use 
our contact us page. Thank you. Till the next time.